Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words, become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're going to be answering the question, is debating a waste of time? There was this one day I saw this guy that was talking about his um, past 10 years. This guy's like, for the past 10 years, I have been researching non-stop to see whether or not the earth is really round. And after 10 years of one pointed study, I've come to the conclusion that no, the earth is not round. The earth is flat. The government has been lying to us and allow me to share why. Now, hypothetically, let's say I am being introduced into a debate with this fellow. This guy has 10 years worth of studying which allows him to understand a bunch of niched concepts, uh, a bunch of definitions, a bunch of data points that makes him sound very smart. Uh, let's say we're debating in front of a crowd. He sounds very smart when he's making his points and he makes his points to me. And now I'm supposed to explain why the earth is round. I don't know how to explain it like that. I don't know all the niche definitions, the data points, the phrases and such. So eventually I'm just going to say the earth is round because I was told that it was round. Then this guy is going to be like, well, do you believe everything that you are told? And suddenly the audience is like, oh, wow, this flat earther just gave uh, such a good point to this round earther. The round earther is getting bodied right now. I've been backed into a corner. This is how a lot of modern debates happen. The reason why is because we are all operating with uh, different data sets. Where in 2005, we still were not operating with similar data sets, but we were somewhat close. In 2023, we are all operating with different pools of information. And not only that, who is seen as credible is seen as a huckster by the opposition. Who is seen as a huckster is seen as credible by the other person. So if we cannot even agree on which sources uh, to uh, give importance to, which sources are credible, does that make debating a waste of time? I think for the most part, at least at this stage in my life, the answer is yes. Now, mind you, I'm not completely against debating. And normally, if I am going to debate someone, I try to look out for two things. Number one, is this a um, rational fellow? Does this seem like a person that can think, right? Uh, and sometimes you could just tell, like, can this person actually think things through or do they believe whatever they hear on the news? If they just believe whatever they hear on the news, then there's no point in debating them because they have given their mind to someone else. And you could insert news for something else, any form of group. Uh, whether it's a certain political party, whether it's some sort of organization and such. I'm like, you have more faith on that versus really thinking things through. So there's no point in us debating. So that's number one. Uh, can this person think? Which is obviously going to require judgment on your end to even discern something like that. And number two, I, I like to ask the following question. Is this a person that I'd like to chill with after the debate? Now, you may think th that is a completely unnecessary question. What's it to you if you want to uh, chill with this person or not? I would say that this is a very important question because it factors in the variable of respect. Because whenever there is no respect, now it's sort of like going to a zoo with the cages uh, open. It's melee. It's more so an argument about different people trying to discover who is right. But when there is a baseline level of respect, it's like a zoo with the cages closed, nice and pleasant. It's about determining what is right. So I believe every now and then a debate can be green lighted uh, because it's intellectually stimulating, uh, but it really depends on the person who is being asked is debating a waste of time. If you're a politician, if you're in the debate team, if you have a, um, a show where you have to debate, then of course it's not a waste of time for you. But if you're just a 
average Joe, a guy that is doing different things in your life, I believe due to the complexity of not knowing what the hell some uh, one is putting faith in, what sort of information pools someone is operating from, whether this information pool is credible or not, a lot of the times when you are debating, what you are really doing is you are signing up to give yourself a headache. I'm pretty sure my thoughts on debating will evolve more in the future once I have resources and time. More of those, at least. Um, but right now, at this stage, I think uh, I speak for plenty of people when I say that debating is a waste of time and you shouldn't really debate unless you, uh, you respect this other person's intellectual prowess and you're thinking, is this a person that I would like to chill with after? Nah, then nah, I'm not gonna waste my time. So that's my personal two cents on uh, debating. If you enjoyed this talk, hit that like for me right on below and be sure to stay subscribed for more talks on social skills, creativity, public speaking, and much more. Uh, join the tribe by hitting that subscribe right on below. Hit that bell notification to uh, never miss another video again. And thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel.